How to achieve a VBAC is your most important question, along with who do we think we are <laughs> and what do you have to do to get your successful VBAC and what do you do if you don't get one? So that's really what we're going to deal with. So who are we? Well, we're the first generation of mothers and fathers who are seeking a VBAC after a classical cesarean in the 1970s. Trust me, we developed skills that prevented and reduced long first and second stages, which often led to a cesarean. And we no longer suffered from the naturally occurring pain of labor contractions, which was really important. And we worked with and around all forms of medical assessment, monitoring, and procedures. We wowed our birth professionals. And we committed to never being passive and to always work through our baby's birth journey, no matter the circumstances. That's who we are. So we have 50 years of knowledge, and we want you to have those skills as well. So what did we have to do to get our successful VBAC? Well, first, we had to prepare our body for birth. And fathers were instrumental in developing all of the body skills, so a big object could more easily come down through and out the container of our body. Yet we had to learn to map our pelvis and to find out what shape the baby had to navigate through. And then we had to create space inside our pelvis for our baby. And you're going to be able to feel that. You can create space easily front to back, side to side, have a mobile sacrum. And your partner can feel all of these skills. And you can also learn how to soften inside the pelvic clock, which helps your cervix dilate and to bring your baby down into the top part of the birth canal. And you'll also learn how to really properly prepare your birth canal. So you want to start those things at 24 weeks and preparing your birth canal at 32 weeks. But if you're 40 weeks plus, just do something. There are many of us who learn these skills very late in our pregnancy. We just crammed. We were very motivated and we use skills very, very effectively. We also needed to learn skills so that we could work through the hard part of labor. Almost all cesareans occur in labor. They either occur because there's a problem, and yes, preparing your body can reduce or prevent the risks from becoming problems and from becoming tragedies. And you want to be able to cope because the medical profession, nobody likes women suffering. And that's why so many women use pain relief in labor. You'll learn to work through the five phases of every contraction using sustainable skills, such as breathing, communication, and touch, coupled with your body skills. You'll be able to read your baby's messages at each contraction so that you have a progressive labor and delivery. And you will learn how not to waste one contraction. You'll learn how to birth efficiently and effectively, even when you hate the experience or are very fearful about it, or feel that the medical profession is going to do all these things. And you'll know that your partner or other will have the skills so that they can see and hear when you need their help. And the question is, is what if you don't get your VBAC? Well, that happens. So this is what we want you to know, as tens and thousands of us, birthing better families develop skills for all births and not one type of birth. And we used our birthing better skills as we worked through the activity of birthing our baby, no matter what, because we knew this was our baby's birth and we skillfully birthed our babies. When we were in the hospital, we were coping and managing and working through the hard part of labor well and all the signs were fine. Doctors and midwives negotiated with us. It's when we looked stressed and out of control that they were less likely to negotiate with us because they don't want us to suffer. If we had to have a non-laboring cesarean, we absolutely loved pairing our body for birth because it gave us the intimacy we were craving. And then we used the skills from the moment we got in the car because that was our labor while we were being prepped. That was the transition. And when we were having the surgery, that was our baby's birth. We never birth without using skills. We were never going to parent without being skilled. And we knew that as soon as we got pregnant from conception onward, we we're already parenting. So we brought our skills into pregnancy and we brought our skills into birth. Did we achieve successful VBACs? Absolutely. We had the most amazing success because we were highly skilled and we were able to let this big object come down through and out this container of our body. You can do it too. And it takes work. You need to commit to being highly skilled.